Okay, welcome. Um, this is uh, just a quick explore again. Apologies if the uh, microphone is sounding like I'm in an echo chamber or something. I'm not sure in this setup why that is. Uh, I've got a, a user made patch here. I thought I'd uh, share and uh, show you with. Um, so let's get into it. So at the beginning I've set it all these controls over to the left I've got an, a sustain pedal on the floor that I'm using just plugged into uh, the number one pedal slot at the back of the command station so this is what it sounds like to begin with in the middle somewhere so there we go not very uh, exciting particularly and it'll hold like that um, I don't know if you know it, but uh, MIDI and enter it pressed at the same time. That will uh, cancel any MIDI uh, information going out or in the synths, just in case you get a locked or held set of notes that aren't working properly. Um, so let's see what we can do with this sound. Let's have a look at the construction of the sound first, the preset. Uh, so that's what it's called. Uh, we've got just saw wave on layer one, two, three, and four. Uh, standard key settings apart from here, see that the B0 is uh, a B note really low down. That's all. Uh, could probably alter that. Um, but all the rest of them, apart from that one, are C7. In fact, let's change these all to the same. Uh, so I'm going to edit uh, let's change that to the highest one this is G8 so they're all the same so each layer now is assigned to all the keys from uh, C minus 2 to G8 so that's 10 octaves whatever is it or 11 octaves I don't know uh, right so that, that's done uh, next setting velocities are all the same uh, I don't know what RT means yet um, I'm still learning. RT fade one two seven. Interesting. Don't know what that's doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. So the first layer is transposed up thirty six semitones, then zero zero zero. The reason I'm going through this is just because if you wanted to recreate this, um, you could do if you went through the video. Um, if you like the sound that comes out of the thing when it's done. Um, tuning, uh, there's just one difference which is a tiny bit of fine tuning on layer 4. Uh, the amp, uh, there's some panning and volume changes so layer 1's plus 3 dB, minus 5 dB for layer 2, 63 right for layer 3, 15 right for layer 4. But we'll change that 15 right to 64 left so now we've got one layer left one way layer right and the other two bang on in the middle um, uh, volume mode same apart from no that says factory that's just time based let's change them all to tempo based let's see if that does anything No, not yet. But you never know. Might do something later. Uh, right, where were we? We were on preset. Or we were, no, tempo based. Um, these layers I've not ever looked at. But the first two layers have a, a rate difference 42, 47, and whatever. Chorus is different. Layer 1's got some. Two, two. It's off for three and four. So what we'll do, we'll take it off for all of them. So that's zero chorus. Uh, delay start for the sound. So a slight delay on layer three. Let's put that to. So 
so we're all going to be on zero delay non-transpose which layer's got that on layer one interesting okay so we'll move off those layers probably all glide is linear apart from the last one which is exponential okay uh, filter so they're all on classic four low pass filter so all, all the four um, apart from the last one which is dj alkaline i'm guessing that'll probably affect the sound reasonably a lot uh, frequency and q factor of the filters the same for all time based filter envelopes they're the same auxiliary same the same lfo shapes the same sinks the same lfo rates different for each one no it's different for layer four sorry um that's always fun to play with uh lfo two that's all layer one's key sync layer two free run layer three key sync layer four free run uh, LFO rate 0.39, two stroke one, point three nine, two stroke one. Pitch bend range two for everything apart from layer one. Now, uh, the reason I've changed this is because I'm having a problem with uh, very nasty noises coming out of the effects unit on this device. So there's no effects on the sounds that you'll hear because at the moment the unit's not working inside. Um, so the mix output I've put to um, send one main and that gets rid of the problem because it doesn't use the effects units then. Uh, patch chords, these are bonkers, they're different for each layer level. Tell you what, because it takes so long to go through, if you're interested in the patch chord settings which do affect the sound, uh, I'll show you those maybe later after I've done a bit of sound stuff preset patch stuff uh, initial controller amounts um, effects bypassed as I say because of the effects units not working in this uh, link we're not using um, arpeggiators on uh, plays bass filter 2 from the X1 the audition riff you can put to anything use the current tempo equal temperament tuning no soloing of layers right so that's it because I've changed something it's changed something so I'll go ahead and save that to preset some of the one that I haven't used just in case there we go I need to save to that one and we'll use this one to mess about with so preset um, let's have a listen again
have there is a pattern that the notes slightly change without me playing anything because I've got uh, tempo set to one, which is very, very slow, as we know. But what that does is it plays the arpeggiator pattern really slow. So if I go into um, arpeggiator status on, the audition, not the audition, sorry, my apologies, uh, pattern, uh, and then we can go to, this is the pattern it's playing, but it's playing it at a, a tempo rate of one. So if we do the same thing I just did, I'll drop everything back to zero, or oh, certainly all the way to the left. So we've still got that. <coughs> Pretty boring sound, uh, and we change the tempo and put it up to say 30, and then try again. <laughs> holding down the, um, the sustain on, on the foot pedal. It's the same as just holding the key. Yeah. Uh, and that means then those notes which are in that pattern, it will play. So obviously if I change that pattern, new pattern let's see what we can do with that new sound at 30 beats per minute rather than one beat per minute
Sebastian getting mapped to that in the chords. So slow or fast uh, velocity. And the gate is percentage, so the pull is about 10-15% open, the rest of the time closed. So as we open it up, we get a longer note, more of the sound. don't scream quite as much. Bit of detune.
And there we have it. A uh, bit of a mess around, just with one voice, with four layers, one note, and the arpeggiator. Hope you enjoyed.